Okay, this video is just going to be um, a very quick how to get our first program running. Um, so we're going to start off, we created a project in the end of the last video called week one. And I'm going to open that, I double click on it, uh, on the folder, I've left that project on my desktop. And then I go into the folder and I can see with the same name as the folder, my solution file is called week one. This is, I sometimes will call it the project file. Uh, and I double click on this. Now you can see that uh, Microsoft calls it the Visual Studio solution file. And it also has the Visual Studio 10, 2010 logo. So I know that that's a, a project file or solution file. And if I double click on that, up will come Visual Studio. And it brings me into, uh, I have several areas here. The first area I'll talk about is the Solution Explorer area. And in here, we are uh, looking at the file system view. And there's several different, uh, as, as we said yesterday, a project consists of a whole bunch of different things. Um, what we care about are these header files and source files. And right now, the only thing we really care about is week1.cpp. That's the main source file that we're working with. And we'll, we'll learn about header files as we go on. The next area to look at is this area, which is the editor area. So week1.cpp. This is the actual C++ file that I'm going to write my program in. And when I start out, for the um, first time I create this project and open it, Microsoft has created a, a skeleton or a default file for me. It has this uh, include statement, which includes some standard libraries. And it has this int underscore t main, which is, uh, it's just like int main in your book. And I'll, in the next video, I'm going to go through uh, and look at each of these things in detail. <clears throat> so, uh, for this, what we're going to do is we're going to use the printf library function. Now, uh, C is a very, very small programming language. It only has 32 keywords. So almost anything we do, we're going to use a library function to do it. And printf is a library function. It's in the stdio library, which is included in this stdafx.h file. So to use it, because I've already included the, uh, the header file, I've, I'm telling the compiler about it so it'll, it'll know about it. I just type in the function name, printf. Um, <clears throat> now, all functions have, uh, are followed by a op open and close parens, um, and that's where you pass arguments to a function. And all statements in C end with a semicolon. That's how uh, the compiler knows that that's the end of your statement. So in the case of printf, what I pass to it is a character string. Um, and that's the character string that I'm going to print. Now, character strings in C and C++ are enclosed in double quotes. So I, I'll start off just putting double quotes there, and then I'll type my character string. Hello world. Okay, so now I have my library function printf and hello world. And now what I have to do is uh, compile and link and execute. Now, because this is a integrated development environment, I, instead of compiling, I do something called build. And build will do all of those things for me. So it's going to first compile my object code, and then it's going to link my program with the, the library that I'm going to get printf from, and it's going to put them together into an executable. And so I just go to this build menu item and click on build. Now this is the next window that we want to look at. This is the output from my build. So it's going to run the, it does a bunch of things. It's going to run the compiler and any error messages will come up in here. So it runs the compiler and the linker, and it creates, here's the executable, week1.exe. Okay, so now 
that executable is in my debug environment. Um, last week we looked at the file system structure. So I can, um, oops, I didn't mean to push that. I can open up a console. So I uh, just go to the start menu and type in CMD and hit return. And here's a console uh, app. And now if I go to, remember I, it's on my desktop and it's called, the folder it's in is week one. And then that folder, because I did a, I built it in debug mode, it put the executable in this debug folder. So I'll cd to debug. And you can see there's my executable, week one. And I can, I can type in week one and it executes it, hello world. Now, the only thing is that's, a, that's an inconvenient and it's a lot of steps. I could leave that open and go back and forth. Uh, but the Visual Studio IDE gives me some convenience functionality here under the debug menu. I can go to start without debugging. Um, we'll see what start with debugging means later. Uh, but for now, we're just going to use start without debugging. And I click on that. And notice it opens up a console, just like we used before. And here's my message, hello world. And then this press any key to continue. Now, that's not from my program. That's from um, the... Visual Studio IDE is holding that console open. My program's finished. Once I finish print, printing Hello World, I'm done. But in order for me to uh, see the results of my program, it's holding open that window until I press uh, return key or any key. Now, I don't like this because my message is jammed right up with their message. So I'm gonna fix that. And the way I'm gonna fix that is I'm gonna go back to my editor window I'm going to put backslash n. So we're going to see there's uh, several different escape sequences that mean different things. Now backslash n means print a new line. So after it prints hello world, it's going to print a new line character. So I will go ahead and build that. And I'll just make sure that my build was successful. Build one succeeded. No error messages. So I can come back up here and debug, start without debugging, and sure enough, hello world, and then a return, and then the message that uh, Visual Studio is printing, press any key to continue, is on the next line. And if I press any key, that disappears. Okay, that was how to build uh, our very first program, hello world. Um, in the next video, I'm going to go through and analyze line by line what we did. But for now, that's all that's uh, in this video.